the wheels and different things. So let's take a look at our Toyota virtual car. Talk about a safety aspect of this next-gen car when it comes to aerodynamics. When these cars get backwards, the goal is to leave them on the racetrack. We don't like to see them get up in the air. And much like the old car, this car has hood flaps, which basically open and take the high pressure area out from underneath the hood. They also have roof flaps, much like the old car. One thing that's very different, though, for the next-gen car is this right here. You're going to see this green cable that is connected to the right side flap. What happens is when that right side flap opens, it pulls this cable and it actually also releases a flap down in the diffuser. So remember, the bottom of this car, very, very, very smooth. So the right side flap opens, cable pulls, boom. The flap goes down on the diffuser to try to slow the air down with the whole goal of keeping these cars on the racing surface. We saw this example back in February. We've seen it a couple times today. This is the Daytona 500. Tyler Reddick spins around. We're going to take a quick look at this. As he spins around, we freeze it right here, right? Roof flaps down and right there, the diffuser. Everything looks normal. As he spins around a little bit further, both roof flaps comes up, and bang, there comes that trap door. Now it's down below the bumper, slowing the air down. That matters, because when this eight car hits the wall, watch it starts to climb. Truex pushes him. That car is trying to leave the ground. Those flaps kept it on the ground. Now, unfortunately, they are designed to help, but the risk still exists contacts with other cars will get you upside down. Harrison Burton got to experience it back in February. Basically an aero situation with contact with another car, a quick flip over, landing directly on its roof. The young driver climbs out, the roof stays intact, so it did its job. Another perfect example today, look at the seven. He gets up in the air, spins around, and now these flaps come up, and you see the right rear of that car tries to leave the ground when the flaps basically pop up, the car sets back down at 160, 170 miles an hour. Race cars are great, but they are great on the racing surface. Safer for everyone if they don't get in the air.